Fight with one sword? Well, why not two? Could this be the style for you? If you're skilled both left and right, this could be your way to fight. Today, we're going to talk about using two weapons at the same time. Hello again everyone, Lauren back with you, and today we're going to be talking about fighting with two weapons. Um, this is kind of a natural extension from talking about rapier with dagger and rapier with cloak, because you could, of course, you could fight with two rapiers, sometimes called a case of rapiers. Now, I don't think that they necessarily come in a big fancy case, but for dueling you may have, you know, some sort of container for them, that might be where the term comes from. I didn't research that part. What I did do was look at a bit of Achille Morazzo from the 16th century, talking about what we'd call side sword. Um, a little bit like arming sword, but uh, like these that I'm holding, but fancier. Uh, the blades might not be quite so thick at their base, and uh, they're definitely going to have an additional rings and hand protection. But the cool thing is that Morazzo talks about fighting with two swords, and you can attack with both of them. There is a pattern to it, though. So we'll get up and we'll show a few things. We'll talk about how you fight with two weapons at the same time. Um, but yes, it is a very valid thing. Ten years ago, if you had asked me, I'd probably say, oh, it seems a bit silly. Shouldn't you just have a sword and a shield? And in a medieval context on a battlefield, that's probably the best thing. You need to cover yourself while attacking one particular opponent. And you've got all of your allies next to you. And it would probably be best to just, you know, have something different. Or you have a different weapon in your hand. And of course, in a lot of systems, we do see rapier and dagger, side sword and dagger. Maybe there's a buckler. Maybe it's a spiked buckler. Maybe it's not. A sword and buckler can be seen as dual wielding because you can use the buckler to strike. So we can talk a little bit about that as well. But mostly we're going to talk about two swords. Because that's really what we want. In our games, in our, you know, whether it's video games, role-playing games, in our movies, we like the hero to have two swords and his fighting multiple people and well that's a little bit much but you can fight with two swords and fighting against someone else while using two swords especially if they have two swords it's very effective if they have only one sword or one weapon it's certainly good if they have two different weapons maybe not if they have a really long weapon probably not so helpful but we will talk a little bit about what Morazzo is talking about and um, then we'll see we'll see how we can apply it few things. So, let's move the chair. Get the chair out of the way. Step back. There we go. Now we're in position so that we can do some sword fighting. So, two swords. Things to remember. One, we're not doing this. We are not eh, just all or attacking exactly the same way. You don't need to hit a person twice with the same move in the same spot. And we're definitely not doing that. I mean, sure, if someone has surrendered and you want to just tear their throat out, you could do that. You're not really going to be able to chop their head off because you don't have enough power. You probably need to do something different. I don't know. But those are movie tropes. And they look great for movies. But this is not a movie. We are looking at some actual manual information. So briefly, we know your left foot could be forward. You have your two swords at the ready. They can be in the same or similar position. Some systems, um, if we're looking at rapiers now, I don't have two rapiers, so that's why I picked two arming swords. Okay. Um, but yeah, you can have them at slightly different angles. But now I noticed that one play I was looking at and I looked at a few YouTube videos for it. What you do is you It'll just set the sword aside. So your opponent also has two swords or two weapons or something that you need to get out of the way. You kind of just push this and then you want to step to the side. That's when you launch your attack. You can follow up with a second attack. You can then come back and then you can have more attacks. But let's break that down a little bit more. So what we're doing in my very hastily studied look at Morazzo, um, we are setting aside the opponent's weapon, creating an opening, sidestepping to get a better angle, and we're attacking up. We still have the opening, we can attack low. The opponent blocks that, we want to shift our tactic, we want to take 
the weapons to the other side. We want to then clear, step to the other side, and then with that op new opening, and attack two different spots at the same time. If we were applying that into game terms, say a role-playing game, how would this be? Well, we could say you get two attacks with your main weapon, and then maybe an attack with your offhand weapon. I'm okay with that. Do you need some ambidexterity to do this? Yes, you need practice. Can anyone learn that? Yeah, it is a style. So definitely, if you have games, you should have to have a two-weapon style. So if you're fighting with two weapons at the same time, you need to train. You can't just pick up two swords and use them. They're going to work together, but one is usually defending while the other is attacking. You need to cover yourself. And that's one thing I want to really get you to understand, is you're not just... This isn't just... Now that's not proper form at all, but in movies we see cuts, 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 cuts. But the sword's being behind you, as soon as the sword comes down, this one's up, I'm open. I'm gonna get attacked. So a lot of it is, I'm keeping myself covered, I'm attacking, keeping myself covered, I'm attacking, keeping myself covered, I'm attacking, keeping myself covered, I'm attacking. So you want to make sure that you always have a defense with one of the weapons and an offense with the other. And so sure, I can launch two attacks, but I'm going to attack, I'm covered, come back to cover, to create the opening, and I attack again. Do you need good forearms for this? Yes, you do. I can already feel the wonderful burn of the muscles, but I like that feeling, so it's good. I'm gonna keep at it. So yes, fighting with two weapons can be a thing, but you can have two different weapons. So let's switch out. Can this be dual wielding? Can this be two weapon use? And the answer is, it could be. You can see it as that if you're using the buckler to attack. I've bound the opponent. I can slam into the arm. I've bound the opponent. I can punch into the face, one of my favorite sword and buckler moves. You get their sword and buckler offline, that is now an attack. Step back a little bit. Bound offline, attack, punch with that buckler. So yes, we can have this as a weapon. Could we fight with a dagger or a knife in the other hand? Absolutely we could. Absolutely. I have no idea where I've left those. <laughs> but um, yes, we can. I would use the sail dagger. These are not historically similar. This is going to be 14th century. This is going to be more 17th century. But, I, of course, as we've seen with the rapier and the dagger, I could use the dagger to defend. But with a side sword or arming sword, I could cut as much as thrust. Remember, one weapon is creating the opening or defending you, while the other is attacking. So it's really a combination. It's not unless you get a really good opening that you would attack with both weapons. I'm always a preferred student of two different weapons that you have. Um, you could use an axe. I'm just going to grab this throwing axe. You could have an axe, and if we're looking more at a Scandinavian or Norse, or Anglo-Saxon style, if you've got the shorter axe, you can use that for hooking. You could turn it around and just block with the haft of the axe create your opening. But I keep saying the same thing. No matter the moves, it's about creating an opening. I'm protecting myself, either binding the opposing weapon or keeping it from it hitting me if that attack is incoming. And I've created that space in order to then move to attack. So you can use that opposing weapon a little bit like a shield. But unlike the shield, you can then return the attack with that. So whether it's something small like a buckler, it's a dagger for little cuts or a good thrust somewhere, or you have two swords and you are wielding into something, cutting into someone, one, two, but remember we're keeping the sword out front, we're keeping ourselves protected. And I'm just goofing around <laughs> a little bit, but you can see if I keep the swords up front, I always have a way to quickly cover. If the opponent really does a wide side step, my swords aren't out of the way. I've got one ready. I can defend myself if the opponent comes in 
because the opponent changed the line and attacked from a different angle. You can use both weapons to block at the same time as well. I could put my swords up and stop a weapon, but I'm not just going to sit there and do the strength test. No, no, no. I'm going to want to either step back and out of the way, or I'm going to set the opposing weapon aside, follow up. So what I could do, someone with a two-handed sword attack me, and I blocked it, I could push it off to the side, and then step in and cut to the arm of that person, so that I could, I'm opening up that angle. So, if I had two swords, could I defeat someone with one weapon? Well, if I get the right angle, if I block and set aside, remember, if we're taking the opposing weapon offline, and we are changing our attack line, we create that opening, we could attack. A good opponent, of course, is going to change their position. They're going to then attack you. Whew. So yes, so I wanted to have a very brief look at, can you use two weapons at the same time? Can you use two swords? You know, it's, it's cool, whether it's, uh, if you do D&D &D and it's uh, Forgotten Realms and Dritz, the, the Dark Elf with his two scimitars, or however it is, there are ways to do it. Movies are big and flashy. They're probably not the best ways to do two-weapon fighting, but it's out there. We see it in the treatises. We know that people can fight with two swords. And if you always remember that I'm covering myself, I'm protecting myself while I'm opening up to make my attack, then yes, absolutely, you can fight with two weapons at the same time. <sighs> so there we go, our brief look at fighting with two swords at the same time. So thanks very much, everyone. Uh, we're well over 300 subscribers now, and I appreciate all of that. And do remember to like the videos. Do remember to subscribe. You can click the notifications. And of course, your comments can help make future videos. So if you have an idea you want me to explore, something you want me to research, talk about, mention it. If I can, I'll absolutely do that. I'll definitely reply. And if I have things on hand that I can use to talk about that, I'm going to talk about it in a future video. Why? Because that's what you wanted. And anyway, thanks very much for watching, friends. Hope that you're all taking care, staying safe, and um, hope that you have a fantastic day. See you next time.